Hi, my name is Soph and I am a Cambridge University offer holder. So I thought I would go through 10 things that I learned by applying to Cambridge. So first is that it's really draining and a lot of work goes into it, um, which I think people had said it was a lot of work, but I kind of underestimated how much work on top of your A-levels it was going to be. Um, so not going to lie, for like a month or two around October, it does kind of seem to take over, but make sure that you are still going out and everything. If you are applying, don't completely devote your life to it because that is not healthy. Um, the next thing is that you absolutely must love your subject. So I knew a couple of people who were a bit iffy. They were like, oh, I don't really know if I want to study this or that. And I've got quite good grades, so I'll apply to Cambridge or Oxford. And they applied and surprise, surprise, they didn't get in because the interviewers were just able to see straight through the fact that they clearly weren't that committed and writing that personal statement was really difficult um because they just hadn't done anything for it so they were just like well I haven't really got anything to write I've read a book and that's about it so basically only apply if you absolutely love your subject um also it's quite emotional because it's a big thing like everyone knows oh so and so is applying to Oxford or Cambridge so it's public and it's emotional which I suppose is kind of two things so obviously if you are applying you really want it so then if you do get it then that's amazing but then if you don't get it then obviously like that was your dream and it's gone I think leading up to finding out whether or not I got in I'd lived it in my head so many times I was like oh how am I going to feel if I don't get in how am I going to react what am I going to do I was like oh what if I do get in oh my god that'll be amazing um, so I lived it through my head so many times that then when it actually happened, I was just like, oh, OK. And that was that, which it was really weird. Um, but yeah, and it's really public, like the whole school knew that I was applying. And as I was walking around like the day after I got it, um, loads of teachers were coming up to me being like, oh, did you get it? Yeah, like, yeah, I did. Oh, did so-and-so get it? And like, you've got to say like, yes or no, depending on whether or not they got it. And like, everyone knew. Um and yeah, I suppose, had I not got in, that would have been really difficult to have to keep telling people, oh, no, I didn't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's not particularly nice that everyone knows because you're like, oh, it's so public and everyone's going to know. And what if they judge me and they think I'm stupid? But honestly, like, if you're applying to Oxbridge, you're clearly not stupid. Also, you don't need perfect grades. Yes, a lot of people do have a lot of nines and A stars. I was really surprised on all the offer holder chats how many people didn't have that like there was a competition at one point for who got like the lowest GCSEs and there were people who were getting like fours and fives and loads of subjects like honestly it doesn't matter that much obviously having bad grades is better but it's by no means like a game changer um as long as you do well in the relevant subjects they're not really that bothered like if you fail French and you're applying for maths why does that really matter? It doesn't really. So a lot of people are like, oh, I can't apply because I didn't get all nines at GCSE. That's not true. If you love your subject and you're going to do well at A-level and you want to, absolutely do apply. Um, so kind of moving on from that, it doesn't matter if one bit of your application is a little bit weak. So, for example, I didn't do very well in my entrance exam. And basically Cambridge look at your application as a whole and you as a person rather than just individual sections so if one bit of your application is a bit weaker then another part can make up for it so it's not the be all and end all um also we're all human like the people that apply I used to think oh they're like super robot intelligent people and like I could never compete with that and honestly it's not true we're all just normal people like, there is nothing crazy special about me. I love my subject and I work hard and that's literally it. Like, there is no secret behind it. It is literally that. Um, so, yeah, like, there's this perception that all Oxbridge, like, people just work all the time and that they have no social life. And whilst there are a couple of people that that's true for, for the vast majority of people, they are just perfectly normal people. So don't let that put you off. Um, also, there are going to be some strange people that you are going to meet along the way. So I remember sitting about to go into my interview and there was someone sat there. So I'm doing 
Fiznatsky and there was a Bionatsky sat next to me and basically he just sat there and he started explaining the Natsuki course to me and I was just like I've just told you that I'm applying for the same course basically like I know this what are you doing it was very confusing I honestly no idea what he was doing and then there were other people who were like showing off what school they'd been to and I was just like I really don't care um we're both here you know um and yeah there are going to be a couple of people who are going to try and psych you out and I remember going into like the interview waiting thing being like right if anyone tries to psych me out I'm getting up and walking off like somewhere else because I was not going to sit there and have someone like spook me out before I went in and then completely mess up because of them so to be honest I think that was quite a good attitude to have and luckily no one did try and spook me although at like master classes and other things that I did there were people who were trying to like show off how much they'd done and oh I've got like 19 nines at GCSE and like first of all you don't even know that that's true like they could just be saying that but also like that's not really a particularly good indicator of whether or not they're gonna get in like you don't know their backstory like you just don't know so basically my advice is just to ignore those people um I also learned a lot about myself and what I'm capable of so it was quite demanding and quite draining and I think because I put my I really did put my heart and soul into it I was like I'm not leaving anything to chance and maybe that was the wrong thing to do because I think I like panicked myself a bit too much but at the same time I did do it so I suppose it goes to show that like if I do put my mind to something I can do it but equally I learned that if I was to do it again or apply to something similar that basically I need to calm down quite a lot because I definitely got far too panicky about it um and finally I learned that dreams can come true and Overall, everything that I've done, I think it was definitely worth it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more similar content.